So what point did that, that flip? Is there a moment where it Once I stepped in the floor. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you, you, never, like, you never know until you know. So it's like going in, I have no idea. I've never, I've never played against a Kemba Walker like, level guard before. So just until I was able to get out there and see what it was really like. But, I mean, you, so you blocked him? You, you tipped one away for a turnover too? There was moments special to you? I mean, it's doing my job. Did you, did you know that was going to be the case? Like going into the game, were you, was it, was you, were you expected to like guard him? I figured, I figured at some point. I mean, we switched some, and I mean, I've, I've guarded a lot of point guards, so I figured at some point, so just stayed ready. What, uh, what was kind of going through your head after that first couple of minutes? Just trying to catch my breath, <laughs> really, because like those first few minutes, like we've had a good turnout for preseason, but this was like nothing I've ever seen. So just the adrenaline was pumping, the nerves were going. So just to get out there and like gain my composure, really. It's because it looked like he, he got a couple quick fat moves on you to get a couple of fouls, but then after that, it seemed like you settled in. Yeah, I just had to get I had to get a feel for for the speed, and like I said, just getting a feel for the guys I was guarding. You have to get a feel too for how the game's going to be called, especially when you're rookie. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I feel like it just comes with it. <laughs> it's part of the game. Do you, do you think that was that game was kind of a blueprint for what you guys are going to do or what you want to do? I mean, obviously, like, for shots to play, but they're going to be able to kind of physically impose, you guys, impose your will. Yeah, that. I mean, shots, shots will fall, but just overall the mentality was just to go in. We've said it a lot, just bully ball, just smash mouse basketball, as Coach says, and just... I think we I think we did a pretty good job. I think always we got we have room to build, but to set the tone this way, I think was was really good for us. Do you, do you guys feel that too? I mean, third quarter, you guys really clamped down on that. Yeah, and it I mean, like you were kind of beating them up. Yeah, I think our goal just going into the second half is to impose our will, and just with our size and our speed, athleticism, strength, and everything, just that was our goal, and we kind of we went out and did it. I'm not sure how that one went in, but I think it was a fail. <laughs> Is that all you measured your first NBA bucket? No, I was hoping one of my layups would be my first NBA bucket, but you know, you can't get them all. <laughs> As players just grow in this league, you start to create like scatter force, obviously, on the back of the and just little things are in there. I'm sure maybe looking back tonight, like, did you learn some things already about you know, how you guard the next time, for example, or just different things that they need to settle? Yeah, I think that's a huge advantage a lot of guys have over me, is just the experience. Like knowing guys' tendencies and all that stuff, and you can watch film, but you don't know what it looks like until you stand in front of them. So I think this was a good one to build up. I know it's only been like half an hour, but think about it. What are your like flash bulb memories of your first real NBA game? I just wish I would have made a couple more shots. <laughs> but no, I mean, just being able to continue what I've been able to do through preseason defensively. I think that's just been my my number one thing. I know the coaches really want me to be able to do that and just like be able to create plays and force turnovers and just to do that again at this level is pretty exciting. Brett's talked about uh, kind of letting you play through your gambling style. Mm -hmm. how, how do you feel like that worked out for you tonight as far as? I, I have to learn to play to how the refs call the game, I think. And I mean, I got a lot of like ticky tack fouls where I just was trying to be over ambitious and just learning to learn to play play around that and just finding that fine line because that's been my thing this whole time just gambling is something that I do and somewhere I have some success but just trying to find the balance of being too far out of position to come back and make a play